Hey, what's up? Nia here. And today I want to talk about the five habits that totally changed my life and I want to share them with you. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Nira Loni and I've been an entrepreneur for roughly 15 years now and I'm currently owning a digital media company in the high six figures. So we all know everyone has their little things and little habits that they do every day to keep them motivated or keep them going and I spend a lot of time reading and listening to books about successful entrepreneurs and business owners and what they do to improve their life and what habits they form to reach their goals and having done massive research on the subject I decided I'm going to adopt as much good habits as I can to try to improve my life. This was many years ago, I think around 10 years ago, and ever since my life improved in every way possible. I can't imagine my life without my habits right now. And honestly, it just, I think they could help anyone, anytime, at any situation. For those of you who don't have the patience to watch through the entire video i'm going to give you the five habits that changed my life right now in a kind of like too long didn't read version so let's get into it the first one the first habit that i adopted was getting up early i uh, once i read the book the 5 a.m club i decided there's no time to waste i gotta get up earlier in the morning i have two little girls and they get up early i have to get up before them each day or multiple times a week to get more done. The second habit that I picked up is protecting my time, right? A lot of people try to steal your time every day. You gotta protect it, protect it as much as you can. Before we move any further with the, with the video, I would like to ask you one thing and one thing only, and like always, that is to hit that like button Help me spread this video to all your friends and all other people on YouTube that might enjoy the information that I share. Thank you very much. It really helps a lot. Number three on my five habits that changed my life list is exercising daily or at least a couple times a week. If you can put in a few days of exercise a week, ideally every day, you will see a massive change in your life. All right, so the fourth habit is reading more books. Honestly, this has completely changed my life. I'm gonna talk about it later. So the last habit that I picked up over the years is practicing meditation and positive thinking. I'm gonna expand on that later in the video, so please stay tuned. All right, so the first habit of waking up early is, in my opinion, really important because you only have 24 hours in each day and the, what you do with this time matters the most if you're a business owner specifically and if you have a family, even more important. So you want to try and use as many hours of the day as you can to be productive and do positive stuff that improves your life instead of just wasting them away. So getting up early I am trying to be a member of the 5 a.m. club. I am trying to get up early every day. I'm not going to lie. I can't do it every day. Some days I wake up a little bit later. I mean, later in my book is like 6.30 a.m., right? But if I, if I can, I try to get up at 5 a.m. or close to it so that I can do a lot of stuff before even anyone else wakes up. That's the magic of the 5 a.m. club. I can recommend the book if you want to read it. It's a really good book. But the gist of it is that when everybody else is fast asleep, you're up 5 a.m. You either take advantage of that time to either exercise, meditate, or just get like an hour worth of work before even the sun comes up that's priceless. That's starting your day with a huge, huge advantage. And most likely, if you manage to do that for a couple of days straight, you will notice that you accomplished much more 
than you usually do and much more than your peers who are waking up at regular hours and I really can't recommend this habit enough if you can don't force it you know you can start with baby steps maybe try one day to get up 20 minutes before what you usually get up and then after a week or so push the alarm alarm clock 20 minutes even earlier until you reach the 5 a.m. benchmark and you won't be sorry as a young kid I used to stay in late I used to sleep late I used to go to bed really late at night I used to sometimes stay up all night and then sleep half the day I'm sure some of you can relate in Honestly, my life just kind of wasted away. I mean, at the time, I didn't have the same mindset that I have now. And thinking about it now, I mean, so much time was wasted on sleeping, staying in bed, doing nothing productive. I wish I could take those years back. I would accomplish so much more now if I knew what I knew now back then. All right, the second habit that I adapted over the years is protecting my time. Let me explain what I mean by that. So, like I said before, we all have 24 hours in a given day. We all live pretty much the same amount of years in life, let's say between 80 to 90 years old, right? If you're, if you're healthy, if you're healthy, if you're keeping yourself healthy, healthy. So we all have pretty much the same amount of time, the same amount of years, the same amount of hours every day to get things done to improve our life. So a lot of people don't appreciate the time, their time, right? So I try to protect my time as much as I can without spending it on useless stuff or, or on stuff that won't progress me in the direction that I want in my life. So, for example, if it's my business, I try not to waste my time during those precious work hours on anything else that is not work-related. And even if it's work-related, if it's not really important, I try to delegate that to someone else because my time is very precious to me and the more I can spend it on massive things and things that will really push the needle in my business or in my life I try to focus only on those things so my, rec my recommendation to you is if you feel like something is a waste of your time or it's simply not worth your time just skip it or delegate it or let someone else do it if you can Another example of protecting my time is with co-workers or anyone else for that matter that asks you to help them with anything. Now, don't get me wrong. You need to be a nice guy. If someone needs your help, help him. But, you know, if they form a habit, if they form a bad habit of shifting you from what you need to do to helping everyone else every day, all day, that's a bad habit that you need to cut off, right? So if someone asks you every now and then, oh, Nir, I need help with this and that, sure, I will help. Why not? I like to help people. But if I see that I spend a lot of time helping others and not helping myself, not working on my business, you need to cut that off. You need to tell people, look, this is the time that I need to work. I need to focus on myself now. I can help you maybe later, maybe on this time, maybe on this day. And this way you can block some time just for you to focus on the more important things in your life right now. All right, the third habit is exercising, right? I love this one because I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy it anyway. But ever since I figured out that keeping your body healthy, keeping your mind healthy, really elevates your life really elevates your business and your personal life i i'm trying to work out every day i i'm not there yet i'm not there yet but i try to work out at least a few times per week and um, it doesn't have to be hard you don't have to hit the gym and work out for two hours like lifting heavy and stuff like that or go for a half marathon run you could do 20 30 minutes 
a day or even every other day of cardio work I have my spinning uh, bicycles that I like to do I have the resisting bands sometimes I hit the gym depends on my mood but the point is get your heart pumping flex the muscles sweat a little bit don't forget to drink a lot of water and this gets you going this keeps your body healthy keeps your mind sharp and alert and I think it's one of the most important things important most important habits you could have in your life regardless of business regardless of anything else if you exercise regularly you will live a happier life that's almost guaranteed right all right so the fourth habit that I picked up a few years ago and this is maybe the biggest habit that I was able to pick up and I'm so glad that I did is reading more books now I don't like fiction books I don't like made up I like made up movies I like fiction movies I love the Marvel movies but when I read I like to consume educational stuff I like to read business books I like to read biographies I like to learn so I, I found out a couple of years a couple of years ago that I have a hard time just sitting with a book and reading. So when I discovered the Audible app by Amazon, my life really changed, and I decided I started listening to books on a very very fast. I mean, today I can consume between twenty to twenty five books every year, and it really turned my life around it really improved my life in any way I can't tell you how much I learned from the books that I've that I've uh, read or listened to um, I'll link in the description below to the video I made a couple of weeks ago about the five books that changed my life so you could see the best books in my opinion so far and really if there's only one habit that you could take from this video specifically for business pur purpose I would recommend you start reading more books you start educating yourself more and the, the rewards for this habit are endless honestly just start reading quickly Quickly though, I just want to say this uh, video is not sponsored by anyone, not sponsored by Audible or anyone else. I just really love their service and I use it all the time for a couple of years ago. Just want to get that out of the way. Okay, so the fifth habit that I do try to do every day is practice meditation and positive thinking. Right, so I decided a while ago that I'm not going to let negative thinking or negative thoughts into my brain it's really hard I'm working on it very hard and I only fill my mind with positive things and I try to always look at the positive side of life and I try every day I can't do it every day but almost every day I try to take at least 10-15 minutes every day to meditate and encourage myself and think about the things that I want to accomplish during this day or this month or this year or even this five to ten years right so meditation doesn't have to be like sitting you know for an hour and levitating or whatever you have uh, in your mind right now meditation can happen very quickly all it takes is like 15 minutes of quiet time alone you get better at it the more you do it and what you do what I do is I sit quietly sometimes I put uh, relaxing music on my headphones and I kinda create the day I want to have or create the month I want to have or I imagine I visualize the goals that I have for this month or this day and I visualize how I do them and how I complete them it's very important that you visualize how you complete things and not just how you do them because you want to see the end goal in your mind before you actually manifest it to the world this is very important so I take 10 to 15 minutes every day I try to and I focus really hard on 
the goals that I want to accomplish and how it actually looks like when they're done, how I feel. I really try to, I really try to uh, get my heart into it, get my passion into it, get my emotions into it. Like how it would feel when I accomplished a big goal. If it feels great, I try to feel that emotion at the time when I'm meditating. This takes me to a higher level and then I start the day at that level. A lot of my tasks all of a sudden seems very small, very doable. You know, it relaxes me, it clears my head and it it's really much easier this way to focus on my day and just go get it, right? That's the purpose of what we're trying to do as business owners. We're trying to be better every day. We're trying to get it. We're trying to close another deal, make another sale, do those phone calls that you need, hire that person that you need to help you grow your business, whatever it is. If you focus on forming good habits, some of them could be out of the five that I gave you now, some of them could be something else, as long as they're positive, you will actually change your life day by day, day by day. That's all I have to say about that. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this video about the five habits that changed my life. I hope I was able to provide you with some value. If you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with your favorite habit or some habits that I didn't, don't know or didn't list on my video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.